Hey guys, this is Brent with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire one dual 2 ohm sub in parallel to equal a 1 ohm final impedance. Here we have our MVX dual 2 ohm NSW subwoofer. Now one way to verify that it is a dual voice coil is by looking at the basket here we see two sets of terminals. You can test the impedance of each coil prior to wiring the woofer just to verify that you did get the correct impedance. And in order to do so we need our meter here. Put our meter setting on the ohm or resistance and we're going to take our test leads and just measure one coil to verify that it is two ohms. Now it does not matter which lead goes to which terminal. All we're doing is reading the resistance value. As you can see here, we have a final impedance of a two ohm load. Now it may fluctuate between, as you can see here, we are on 0.1 to 0.2 off. It's okay as long as it stays steady, you know you have a final two ohm impedance. Now make sure the woofer is facing up because if we do touch the cone, you'll notice that the impedance fluctuates. It makes the meter go crazy. So now we're ready to wire up our woofer. In order to wire a woofer in parallel, we need two jumper leads, one for positive and one for negative as you see here. Today we're going to be using blue as positive and gray as negative. And to start, we're going to start with negative to voice coil number one. We branch that jumper lead right over here to voice coil number two. Our second jumper lead, which is positive, goes to voice coil number one positive. And we bring that around as well. Now this set of wires, as you see right here, is actually going to be going to our box terminal on the inside of your enclosure. From the box terminal to your amplifier outputs, which will actually see the impedance of the woofer. So all we're going to do is actually join up the positive with the positive, and negative with negative. Attach that to our secondary voice coil. Now we're ready to double check our work and read the final impedance we should now have a resting impedance of one ohm since we wired this woofer in parallel. We'll go ahead and attach our test leads here to our meter. And we'll notice now we have a 1.1, 1 1.0 1 ohm low. Now it may fluctuate between 0.1 to 0.2. Don't worry, just round off and that's gonna let you know your final impedance. So once again, this is how we're gonna wire a dual two ohm woofer in parallel to equal a one ohm final impedance. I'm Brendan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.